Uh, Anthony, tell me something about the daily regime in a small distillery like this. What is your daily regime? Very simple. We're a Monday to Friday operation, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning to uh, 6 o'clock at night at the moment. We come in and uh, Malcolm Rennie, who's my distillery manager, he comes in, he charges the, the wash dill and starts the distilling process in the morning. And by about lunchtime, 12.30, uh, he's done that distillation run. Uh, we then charge the balance out of one of the, uh, the wash backs into the, the wash dill and then we start the mashing process. So we do four one-ton mashes and four distillation runs uh, a week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, and on a Wednesday we fill uh, casks and, and clean the, the distillery. Uh, so that's really our regime. Um, at the moment that's our regime for, for the sort of 40 to 50,000 litres. Next year uh, we're doubling up and we'll end up doing a shift system uh, where we'll uh, operate from six till two and two till ten. Uh, and we'll fit in six mashes a week um, and be able to, to get up to the, to the required rate. Um, but we run the whole distillery with just three people. Uh, even when we're back doing our own maltings, uh, there'll just be the three of us. Uh, at the moment, uh, there's Mark and myself, and I've got my son working here at the moment, but we're taking someone on at the end of the month to, to work alongside Malcolm uh, doing the distilling, and I fill in with the mashing and, and, the, and the malting side of things. How long with that regime, how long uh, does it leave you to ferment? How long, how long is you, what are your fermentation Well, we're getting plans? good, we're, we're trying to get maximum uh, fermentation rates of over 70 hours. Uh, we achieve that with the, the two um, uh, mashes that we do on a, on a Thursday and a Friday. The ones that we do on a Monday and Tuesday obviously get less time, uh, probably around 60 hours. Yeah. And then how long does it take you to uh, distill off your wash till? Uh, in fact, both the wash still and the spirit still roughly the same length of time. I mean, uh, from starting at 8 o'clock, it'll be uh, around 12.15, 12 12.30 12 that, that the wash still is, is distilled out. And the spirit still just a little longer, maybe half an hour longer than that. With a very small team like that, what happens if someone goes sick? Well, that's interesting because uh, Malcolm went on holiday in, in July and because of all the delays we've had, uh, we needed to keep, keep producing to, to uh, try and catch up uh, with this year's sort of forecast. So when I told him a month before he went on holiday that actually he's, gonna, he's got a month to show me how to do it, he was a bit horrified, but he did and uh, we carried on distilling. Um, and uh, I did it uh, with my son. Now it sounds pretty horrifying probably for a lot of people, but um, within a month I, I got the grass bit, though we had some interesting moments, uh, it all went okay. Uh, <laughs> though except the filling was a bit interesting and. Uh, I shouldn't probably be saying this on camera, but we would manage to reduce it slightly more than the 63.5% that we should have done. <laughs> <laughs>